I think what we have as um, an oil weapon is far more greater than what we did. What we did is nothing at all. I think we can cut down production to, let's say, 20%. Instead of 25%, it will be 80%. You think Europe or, or Japan or the United States can survive with this? Maybe the United States, they have their own um, local supply. They are in a much better position than Europe and Japan. But I don't know to what extent Europe and Japan will get together and join the Americans in any kind of measures because your whole economy will definitely collapse all of a sudden. If the Americans are thinking of a, a military uh, action, this is also another possibility. But then this is a suicide. What, happens, what happens if the U.S. resorts to force and occupies the oil fields in Saudi Arabia? There are some sensitive areas in the oil fields in Saudi Arabia which will be immediately blown up. By and yourself? Then, by, by your of people? Of course, of course. And then what will happen is Europe has to live, and Japan, of course, has to live without oil from Saudi Arabia for so many years because it takes years to repair that. It's not an overnight business. It's not a month or two. Now you can imagine what kind of gambling this could be. But uh, could you cut your production down to 80 percentage and still survive economically? Yes, sir. You know what will happen then? The barrel of crude, instead of being sold at, let's say, uh, $3.50 or $4 from Rastanura, Saudi Arabia, it will be sold at 15 or 20 dollars. As a matter of fact, we'll get more income from a 20 percent production than from our present level of production. Law of supply and demand. <laughs>